So this is a painting that I made. Can you see it, Andrew? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Do you know who I it's know of? I know exactly what it is. Yeah, that would be Mike and Nikki, yeah. That would be, absolutely. Mike being the, uh, the blonde-haired uh, skipper of the boat. Yeah, uh, yeah. And, and Nikki, his wife, who is also part of the Clipper team that supports uh, all of the all of our supporters. She's the sort of go-to person for all of them. And uh, so she is on the dock waiting for us every time we arrive. Um, and that's a scene that I have seen every time that we've arrived. Yeah. 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 And it's really, I have found it very captivating as well, because I mean, you know, Skipper Mike heads off for weeks at a time and Nikki you know, heads off into her life for weeks at a time and they connect at a different place in the world. And every time there's just this lovely, lovely, lovely embrace. And mm -hmm. um, I got to thinking about the human side of the race is really like this picture came about because I wanted to just try and express that in art really. And I, my, so my curiosity, Andrew was like, how is it, how is it for you to like be away from 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 family from you know loved ones um yeah i guess i was just curious about that so yeah, yeah I'll, I'll... um <laughs> yeah look it's not easy um not easy at all um and i wasn't really sure how you know how it was going to be until you know it all the race started right it kind of goes back to that wonder of i wonder if i can do this i wonder how much you know if i can can be away um uh, as much as i'm going to be um what i what i've come to appreciate um is a couple things um i've come to appreciate that i want to choose to spend a lot more time um with my parents when I get home. Mm -hmm. um, I also have come to appreciate that I have such amazing kids who are so supportive of me and what I'm doing. <laughs> um, and, uh, and a sister who's so supportive and excited and her whole family of, of what I'm doing. And and that's been really interesting to me to see that the people around me um, are um, not reliant, like they're, they're independent. They're able to, to be happy and, 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 and run their lives and, and be okay in their lives um, without a reliance on me to, to, to do that. And, mm -hmm you could you could take that as you could take that as a negative or you, or the way i look at it is to me especially when it comes to my to my daughter is that that's a beautiful thing that they are young independent women who are you know at different stages of their life danielle's in university katrina's about to to graduate renee's already graduated is on doing her thing and emily's in school uh, pursuing her education that they're all doing that. And, um, you know, if they need support, um, they, we have great conversations when I'm in, in port, um, as if, you know, it's been just a couple of weeks since we saw each other and, you know, and, uh, we're just checking in and, and, uh, so, so I've been really, really blessed to, to, that that they have been able to be as supportive of what I'm doing uh, as they have, um, and then obviously Manik and I made a very conscious choice a couple of years ago. You know, with selling our home in Toronto and starting to travel and going to Europe together, and then going to Costa Rica together before all the sailing started. Um, and part of that was to try to figure out what life on the road would be like um uh try to simplify our life in a lot of ways um and we were, we were talking about this in the last few days because 
this year particularly, and some of the, the viewers might not know this, but Monique is is doing her own around the world trip this year, um, mm -hmm. choosing to do the kinds of things that really fulfill her um, as she travels. Um, and she's doing it alone. Uh, and from time to time, we, we end up in the same place. Uh, you know, we, we try to do that, but we, we're not, she is not planning based on any being forced to be everywhere that I'm going to be. Mm. But if it works out, great, right? And um, what's funny about it is that <clears throat> my my preferred lifestyle would be the, the lifestyle Nick has this year, <laughs> in the <laughs> sense of the freedom, the freedom, the independence, the the doing it solo. You know, all of those things are much more my natural personality. Whereas being part of a structure, an organized setting, you know, a schedule and all that, that's Manix's mm. sort of nature or what, what was her nature, you know, when she was working in corporate world and, and all that, mm. and she was organizing events and all that. So for the two of us, we've kind of taken this year to, to explore a, a way of life that's kind of the opposite of what our nature is and mm. to see how how we respond to that. Um, but that also comes down to, to the idea of, you know, how to support each other and how much support we need to be okay as a, as a partnership, as a couple. Right. Mm. And I think we've learned a lot about that. Right. We've learned a lot about how to, how to communicate, you know, how to, you'll know this, Kay, I think I've probably said this to you before. And we, we know this in our coaching coaching work that there's a big difference between expectations and agreements mm -hmm. and this year as a couple we needed to to move as many things from expectations over to agreements as possible mm -hmm. because it, you know we were just talking this morning that it may be three months if if they change the schedule of when we leave early beach It'll probably be about three months before we see each other again in Seattle. Wow. Right. And so you need to, we need to part ways here with, an, with, with agreements on what, uh, how we're going to communicate what's, you know, what, what's going to happen in between not expectations kept to ourselves, <laughs> that, mm -hmm. you know, that yep. we somehow hope the other person can read our mind. Um, and to be honest, I think that's one of the best learnings from this whole experience is, is that, that just simple idea of what is an agreement versus what is an expectation. Yeah. I've heard so many people on the boat talk about the challenges they're having with their relationships where they have these wild expectations of what should their partner be doing? Um, and maybe vice versa that, you know, they're having expectations put on them that they didn't have any clue about. And the idea of how you get from that to being able to communicate with, with your partner in a way that says, no, this is what we're agreeing to. We need, this is what I need, or this is what we need to be able to continue to move on. Um, mm -hmm. that's, um, that's huge in this kind of a situation. But I also think it's a really valuable learning in day-to-day -day relationships and day-to-day -day family life is we spend way too much time walking around with expectations of others that they don't know about. Mm -hmm. Even if we think, even if we think that every human being is born knowing this, they should know this. <laughs> I should not have to tell them this. Um, <laughs> there, there's something about having an agreement that, Okay, we're we both completely understand the same thing here. Yeah. Yes. Okay, we're agreeing that that is the new, the the new norm. Um. So. Yeah, I mean. It's a, it's an interesting experience to go through to have lo these long breaks of time away, um. Uh, and it's taught me a lot about myself. It's taught me 
you know, where I, I feel like I haven't spent enough time or put enough of my attention. Um, but it's also given me a tremendous amount of pride in, in the, the people around me and, and, um, how independent they are. And, and, you know, as a parent, as a brother, you know, as a, as a son, like, it's pretty cool to see that, um, yeah, just that people are, are good. People are happy. People are excited about what I'm doing. Yeah. People's lives continue on. Right. Um, Katrina, you know, one of my daughters, Katrina is getting married three weeks after the race. So she's excited to share all the updates on planning and preparations mm -hmm. and you mm -hmm. know, song choices and dress choices. And, you know, and <laughs> so to get that every two or four weeks, um, you know, it's, it, it's, it's a lot of fun and it's a thrilling thing for me to still be able to do that while I get to have this year of fulfilling something that was a really big dream of mine. So, yeah. 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 And, and and that's my experience of it. There are other people who've really, really struggled. There's people who've left the race because they weren't in that place or they or they didn't have that kind of a relationship or they didn't have that independence uh, mm. in the partners or the people in their lives, right? And there was a lot of reliance on them. And so that's why I think uh, when I say appreciate, I really, really mean it, appreciating the independence I have in the people around me, because I've seen firsthand that not everybody has that. And there's a lot of people who've really struggled because there's a lot of de dependence uh, required. Um, so, yeah. 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 Oh, well, thank you for that. Of value in what I just said. No, there's a lot. I mean, I, I think about um, the things that people the connections that we have and how when, when others are, it can feel like, well, they need me. Right. And we can feel really trapped in that or, uh, you know, folks can feel really trapped in that idea, but then to be able to kind of go from worrying about them, thinking that they need us in ways that, you know, it, maybe it would be a lot healthier if they, if if we were able to say like I'm cheering for you, I'm not worrying about you anymore. I'm cheering for you now. <laughs> and like, um, it, it, I think as a person who has really done a lot of growing in terms of letting go what my kids, for example, quote need from me, what what you're saying, like, and then it just frees us to be able to. They do come to me for support because they know I'm not going to have any expectations about what they. Uh, should be doing or whatever instead they can just be like hey here's this thing <laughs> that's interesting mm -hmm. or that and like if they if they only the only time i'm going to give them a, advice or ideas is if they ask for it and it's like so nice it just makes for such lovely relationships and they support me in doing the things that i'm inspired to do just as i do for them like there's there's this i think what you're speaking to is something really deep in the heart of our you know, the conditioned world that we, that, that we sort of live in, which is like, you, 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 you leave it all in the road for everybody else, like period. Mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> and, and yeah, how I, to, I think people, yeah, I think people's, I think far too much of people's self-worth is, is wrapped up in uh, creating in, in other people's dependence on us. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, very and, well and if 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 you if if you and that's you know I think that's been the big like like I said for for me to see my girls be okay without me being around all the time. Yeah. Um, I for me to celebrate that, I have to I have to celebrate that. That doesn't mean I'm any less of a father. It just mm -hmm. means they've learned something in their life. Um, about how to be a strong, independent woman that doesn't require me to be there all the time for them to be able to, you know? And of course, I wish I could, you know, I wish I could just fly down and see Danielle at school at her swim meet this weekend. Um, yeah, yeah. And so there's moments that you miss that, that uh, you know, given the choice, I'd love to be there. But I also know that she knows that I'm cheering her on mm -hmm. and... 
she's excited to share how she does when she's when she's done and that the experience that i'm having is changing the way she sees what's possible for herself in her life yeah. um you know and the places she's come and and the girls have come to visit us as we've traveled i've given them a different perspective on life and what's possible but the whole collective of that it's just it's just a different way of 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 having uh, a relationship as you know parents and 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 children and parents and and our parents and you know it's like <clears throat> i think that's the biggest takeaway is that you know how we what we need to be okay in our lives <laughs> uh the less strings attached to that you know the easier it is to wake up every day and start the day okay keep the mm. keep in in that sent that state of being okay through your day when stuff's happening around and to know that you know when other people need you as you, as you said Kay, that you know to, that they know that you're available and and yeah. ready to help but that they don't feel that and you don't feel that that's a dependence that's you know that's that carries a lot of negative or other kind of energy with it um, yeah yeah yeah. yeah, it's been it's been really interesting to watch the difference being around 20 people uh, who are all at different stages of their life, have different kinds of relationships, have different kinds of backgrounds. Uh, some are looking for relationships in their lives and chasing things. Some have relationships that are, you know, clearly very one sided in terms of the dependence, you know, mm -hmm. and it's like fascinating to see it all play out. Um in this kind of a this kind of a situation environment yeah yeah wow thank you that was um a really great a really great conversation about the human side of what you're doing <laughs> it's really you know thank you it's it, it, this is 90 percent a human social experiment and 10 percent a sailing race <laughs>